Welcome back to Broke Ass EDC. Man, did a little swap of rune in here and got another best tech in the Bua. Who knows if I said that right? I guess I could Google it, but that'd take time. And I got to scroll through Facebook looking for somebody to trade. The Bua. Best tech, man, look at this damn thing. As close, I think, as you're going to get in the cross between custom and production. This one, and I'm fixing to trash this name, so go ahead and give me shit on that one. Garbaski. I don't even, it looks like George with some Z's in it. But I've got to say, man, the dude milled out and designed out a damn sick looking blade. Now, I mean, the boo, I think that, I think it translates or goes back into like, like a crocodile. So I can see the, the, the crocodile scales in it, kind of got the eye in there, but the lines from the handles go well into the blade, which is also got some milling that gives you some another openings. Blade length, 3.54 inches. Cutting, 3.375. So, making good use of that. M390. It's kind of like a flat grind. You're not... With some... Hell, you almost got to say, it's just straight milling. To give it them, them, them meaty lines. Milled gray titanium on the handle. This thing's coming at 5.2 ounces. Riding on ceramic ball bearings. And this one has got a little bit of green accents in the back spacer and the pocket clip, which doesn't appear to be reversible. And it's got this crazy lanyard slash skull crusher head knocker. I don't know. I wouldn't want to get hit by it. But the milling on this thing is just sick. It looks like, yeah, it's going to be a problem. No, sir. You get it in the hand, you're not feeling any any hot spots. It just melts away. The action. Snappy on the flipper. And that reverse flick off of that mill hole does it great not too drop shutty but this thing is just new it needs to be probably wore in it's just never never seen much much action after some real good flicking sessions this thing would definitely break in lock bar nice and solid on it all four fingers on that handle. And like I said, that milling, it just kind of melts away. The aggressive jimping up top. So this thing, I kind of got that feeling it's ready to be a user. Slides in and out of the pocket pretty well. Not too much of a deep carry because you've got that, you know, that bunch back here, the step down in that, that large clip hole. Popping out through there. But it's definitely an interesting piece. There's a couple different ways that you can get this. Uh, a blacked out drop point. Or the uh, the dark bead blasted with, without the green accents. But I think this one, that little bit of color really makes this thing pop. An interesting knife. And the way the description and the way it kind of looked at me, if if you haven't crossed that line from custom or from production into a custom knife, this will kind of break that seal for you and let you get an idea of what you're getting at. Because yes, these are priced at like 340 with M390 titanium and that kind of craftsmanship. 
and milling, it's it's going to cost you. Hardware is, it's not really over the top, I'd say. You do have the three screws holding in this, uh, this back spacer. But they are done pretty well. Logoing, almost non-existent on this. I think this knife and the whole idea behind it is for it, the design work, to speak for it. Uh, you look at it and know what it is. Well, what do y'all think about the uh, the best tech? Booyah. I know I'm going to get some hate comments on that one. But you know what? I appreciate it. The BT2203B. There you go. There you go, folks. From best tech. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I dig it pretty good. Looks good. Feels good. What else could I ask for? And it's pretty much dead nut center. I, know, I mean, which is, is going to happen when it comes from Best Tech. Y'all, uh, like, subscribe. Always drop a comment. And uh, check out Knifeaholics on Saturday night with, uh, with Brian dropping those feral rods and backpack and his gloves showing off them mods y'all stay sharp stay safe